Hi guys, it's Anna from Honest Dolls Fashion and Fun, and today I'm here and I'm going to be doing an arts and crafts video. Whoops, I just made Victoria lose that. Okay, so as you all know, you may all know Victoria, unless you're a new subscriber, because we've got lots of new subscribers. This is Victoria, um, my masterpiece doll. She is our small, my smallest. I have two. I have an Ella, which is a bigger one, and then I have Victoria. And I also have our little reborn baby boy, William, and he's dressed so cutely. I don't know if you can tell, but he's really looking adorable. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my paint, and I do want to show you everything that we have the craft-wise before we get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of move the paints aside really quickly because right under my table is where all of my crafts are. Okay, we'll show that one last. So the first craft, well, let me just get the basic things out. Well, no, never mind. Okay, so the first craft is we're going to make a little baby mobile. Um, it's really cute. It doesn't spin, but it looks really cute if you put it above a baby's crib. You could use this for a bitty baby crib, even a real baby crib, because I was using it above my real baby crib, and it still looked amazing, even though it was a little bit small. So we're going to be doing one for William, so I have a little fire truck themed one. And then I have a little boat craft. So we're going to be making this little, really cute little boat. I think it's just adorable. So I'm going to... Let's open. hold it up. Hold it up because you have to hold it for a few... No, hold it like... Okay. Did you show the other thing? So we're going to yeah. be making a mobile. It's not... We're not, like I said, making this cute. exact one. We're making... A little fire truck themed one but it is almost exactly it's made the same exact way there we go okay now we have a little learning craft for like toddlers we're going to be making these little um ma matching like matchable uh little s popsicle stick it's a color game it's yeah a color it match is. Game. so, show, so show them how it works let me get from where i can here hold that victoria Okay, so what you'll do is like you'll have your popsicle stick that's a color, that's a color, and then you'll have your little actual popsicle and the toddler or baby, however old or even kid I guess, could find the color popsicle and put it with the color popsicle. So, and then they can just stick it right in the middle like that. So William is holding those for me, and then, and then we're going to be making a, I'm sorry if I can't hold this up exactly right, we're going to be making a rainbow it's a puzzle. themed puzzle, so they will learn the colors of the rainbow, and it's really fun to make, and it's actually a really cute little learning tool, even if you, even if, you could even use this for a real right. toddler. Right, it's, it's the Roy G. Bib. Yeah. yeah. The, it's the order of yeah, the rainbow. Yeah, the order of the rainbow. Yeah. Okay. Flower, don't even think about it. She's curious. Our kitty cat wants to make an appearance. She okay, can't, so. She can't make an appearance right now. So there's that craft. And then we're going to be making this really cute, big, gigantic ladybug. If you like ladybugs, this is the perfect craft for you. And I will, when we get to each craft, I will show you what you will need for each one so yeah try and get the stuff out i have all of it organized to buy the witch this is so heavy because i have like a bottle, big huge bottle of glitter glue okay the next the other craft we're gonna make is this really cute elephant which as you can see victoria had made this one for me and i will show you be showing you how to make this one this one's one of the e this is actually the quickest one I'd say. So yeah. Flower. <laughs> Flower. We just meow meow. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to be making this cute, adorable little mouse pro 
project. That's really cute. It, it makes a really cute mouth. I am actually using this as a little nursery. I have act I made this for like a little nursery theme for Sally Mae, which is actually right behind the camera. So yeah, I was using the big crib for that. And then last but not least, I actually don't have this made. I actually started it and then I actually forgot because we were so busy. So it, this makes an owl, like you can, it's an owl craft and it's really fun. It can be kind of messy, but if you don't, I had to use glitter. I don't have glitter glitter. Show, show, you them, can use, show them the, um, real, yeah, and I ordered her eight, it's an 18 pack of colorful glitter and the clear Elmer's glue and she has made her own glitter glue so if you move it they can perhaps see that that's silver glitter that you made with yep. real glitter and real glue because we couldn't find glitter glue anywhere right target has the packs of glitter yes so if you want glitter glue in 18 colors order their 18 pack of glitter and i also have a stapler the only project that uses a stapler, I actually used it for more than one project, but the only one that pretty much has to have one is the mobile. I guess if you didn't have a stapler, you could always just use glue, or not glue, tape, but this makes it a lot more handy. And then I just have, like she said, some Elm clear Elmer's glue. I and we've had really good luck with Target to get yeah. craft supplies. Target. We've gotten a lot yeah. of good stuff. Like I don't have any white paint at the moment. I used it all up, and we were we ordered some white paint that is going to be coming here soon. Yeah. So yeah, and I have scissors, of course, a pencil, and I don't have any toothpicks. So this is almost like I'll a show toothpick. them the end of that. Is that what you made on the end of your pencil? Oh, yeah, with yeah. the model magic. I thought you were gonna no. show them what you made with I the model oh, magic. Oh yeah, it's over here. But I have okay. this was made with play doh. Oh, I made this in my own. Okay, but I didn't have model magic. But we just ordered it, and I have had so much fun making stuff with it. Are you it. gonna show them that? Yeah, I will in okay. just a second. So yeah, have that. Um, this is just like one of those little sticks that come with the little scratchy things yeah, where you, yeah. where it comes with those little scratch black things. Yeah, the scratch off things, and I that's what I'm using that for. I have, oh, that needs to go over the, oh well. <laughs> and then I have a bunch of different like brushes. This one's still wet because I just washed it. Um, so yeah, I have this is, this one is the only reason why I got this is because for the ladybug and the mouse, it took me so long to paint that with this tiny paintbrush. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I think I'm going to save myself yeah. 10 minutes and get a big one, <laughs> little spongy thing. And I also have this one, which is one size up as well, which I really like this paintbrush. Okay. I also need some water. That's, that's a Gerber jar. Yeah, it's a Gerber jar. Yeah. Put some water in it. And it's clean, by the way. Of course. <laughs> And then here is the model magic things. Um, hold on. Okay. You may want to put your Let tabletop just... back on because yes, yes, it'll yes, yes, show yes. better. Yeah, let's put your tabletop back on. Ooh, this is heavy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let me just put that. So here's my bag of just plain white model magic clay. I guess you wouldn't have to do have white model magic clay. Um, but make sure it it's does easier say, to paint, though. Yeah, it is, especially if you're doing okay, a white cat like I did. Okay, and put your cat on the black because you can't see them on the white. Okay. On the plate, you can't see what's on your plate. And yep, now make you can. sure you that it says when you're buying this, make sure that it is air dry because we actually made that mistake and bought some that does not dry. Well, so, well we ordered it online yeah. and it came, it pulled up model magic but it was modeling clay it's both by crayola and the yes. packages look similar Wait, so just make, make sure it's at model checkout it's magic. model magic yeah so i will show you this stuff in just a second because i still have another craft on there so i made this really cute little izzy cat um our neighbor who everyone loves on our street has a cat that roams the ne roams our street and everyone on our street knows who Izzy is. And we always joke with Izzy and he's so cute. So this is a little Izzy that we made that I made. 
And then these little cats. You, that you air dried, you painted, yes. and then you coated with glue. What yes. glue did you coat it the with? The clear glue. It makes it shiny. It's shiny. And, and it seals yeah, see. the, it's, it seals it, the paint. It seals the paint because sometimes the Crayola paint tends to okay. chip a little. So, and then these little things that I made, they're little, I haven't painted them yet, but I'm going to paint one of them in the video. I sculpted this. This one's still wet, but this one's already dried. Um, but these I sculpted, and I am making the, out of them a little keychain. So, I just, I will show you exactly how, but as you can see, it opens, and then you can You have show. to show them. You have to show them up close down a little bit where they can see okay it's a safety man that might not be a this is not i would not call this a, a kindergarten craft no this is more okay, so of these two because older of the, crafts yes so the rest are kindergarten crafts yes. but these two i would yeah say these yeah. three older okay let's get started so, oh wait i have okay. one more craft to show these are to make little baby puffs. Oh yeah, this is for your baby dolls, you know, the Gerber puffs. So you could buy one container of puffs and then and you, they're you really could eat good. them yourself. I always eat them. I love them. And then so. you could make them for your baby out of model. Oh, well. Of course, this again is not for little ones. Yes. This is for older girls this to play with older ones. Yeah. their dolls. Like most, it's the only other craft that's not for kindergarten. I this that could still be bit. made with a kindergarten. Yeah, if you this, had an adult yeah. to help. This is a choking hazard yeah, for a little baby, a, a little kid. Hazard. Okay, so, so you paint them. Yeah. So basically, the model magic you can paint and uh, make into anything. Yeah, like you can make food and everything. It's really fun. Okay, let me put these things back. Yeah. Okay. Need to get so. Have okay, now which craft should we start with? The Just elephant. Something. Uh, the, let's start with the mouse. The mouse, okay. It's cute. Okay. Do you have all your supplies? Yep. Okay. So you've already kind of organized. Oh, are you not using the same, um, you don't have any pink construction paper? I was just going to use a different color. Let's use pink construction um, paper. Um, yeah. Okay, because that right there, look at that. Right oh, there. okay. Yeah. Because you don't want to confuse everybody. Do you okay, have black so, for the eye? Yes. Okay. Just have to Watch your tabletop lid. So yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we're using construction paper. She used a different kind of pink paper. We yeah. have... Do you have your popsicle sticks? Yep. yep. Okay. So, um, okay. Let me make sure I have everything. Because some of the stuff is scattered. Where is the glue stick? Ooh! Okay. I don't know so, why your head is not... Are you sitting higher than you were? No, I'm sitting the exact same. Okay. I don't want to cut your head so off. So, this little mouse I made, um, and it is just adorable. So, I'm going to tell you guys everything you'll need. So, you'll need some sort of paper, any kind. I have pink construction paper to make it look similar. There. And you'll need um, black construction paper. I actually just have black foam. It's the same... Craft. I remember putting black construction paper in here, but I it somehow disappeared, so I must have forgotten it. But or take well, took it out. Where's your phone? Where's your paper? Where's your construction paper pack? Over there. Okay. In the corner. Yeah. So yeah, this will get saved for the butterfly. Yeah, you butterfly. Need uh, ladybug. Okay. Oh, wait, and you need black? It's right here. Yes. Thank you. So okay. black construction paper. That's for the eye. Or, if you had a googly eye, you could use a googly eye, but I think this looks much cuter. Yeah, you will need mm -hmm. tape and two craft sticks. Or Make sure you show each step you do, make sure you're showing them. Okay. And you don't necessarily, if you don't have craft sticks, that's okay. It just, I found that the ears tend to flop. Because yeah, I didn't, I, agree. I didn't glue them. No, I, I like them. the idea. Of the yeah, color. I really think this makes it a lot better. Um, and then you'll need a glue stick. I don't know why I have a piece of green pa tape paper on the top. And then I have some paint. Like I said, we ordered Crayola some, washable. Yes, paint. Crayola washable. Target. Target. Yep. And. Like I said, I have no more white. I've used it all up. We ordered some, so I cannot do gray, but I'm going to do brown for the mouse. You can mix a little bit of the peach with the brown, 
to make it not so dark. Okay. Um, yeah. That so is. that it's kind of a light color. I, I've I've told Anna now that she's out of white to use as much of that peach until we get it. You all know there is a delay with um, supplies. So. Did I say you need a paper plate? Of course you do. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that makes the 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 structure of the mouse, and then any kind of paintbrush. I'm just gonna use this little foam thing. So. Yeah. So what you're gonna where is my scissors? Where are my scissors? Right there on your plate. And you will need scissors. If you're a little, get an adult to do this. To cut the pieces. For and kind of move around slowly so that everybody so you don't knock your supplies over. Okay, so basically what <laughs> you're gonna this wanna for do, so she you're gonna wanna kinda go I'm trying to I'm trying to do it to where show you guys the shape can of show. it. Let's show the so shape of it. This is the shape. You'll wanna cut like a like a look, almost look, a V hold it kind to of the shape. Camera. So down, like down. That. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So get a pencil and draw. Look, she can trace, but just kind of, you know, get your parent or you older girls who may want to do this with, like, for your dolls or something. Just draw it with a pencil first before you cut it. Okay. There we go. So my pencil is very light. I don't know if you'll be able to see the lines that I did, but I did draw a line. So I'm now I'm just going to cut on those lines. So we really, what we should have done is compiled a supply list at the beginning of the video. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. And. You can save these scraps for paint, make, mixing paint. That one's a little bit too small for the one I need. So I'm actually going to grab, I brought this over here on it. For this purpose, I'm just gonna cut it in half because I don't need Yeah, bag. so actually we have a bag that has all scraps in it. Not yes. garbage, not things that are actual garbage, but things that are scraps put, and put them all in a bag. And that way when you need to go get them, you can. You need a little piece. Okay, there's your... So, this is the shape for the mouse's little body slash head. Yep. His entire body. So, what you're going to want to start off with is the painting part. So, actually... Can you just hand me two little craft sticks? They should um, where are you putting the paint? No, let's let's do it on a plate. Do we have a... Here's yeah. the other piece of yeah. the plate. Yeah, something that is um, not going to spill over. Okay. Now. Yeah. Can you give me two craft sticks? Where are they? Or one mm -hmm. somewhere. It doesn't matter where. Because I actually, I didn't think about this. You would have thought, I would have thought you about getting. You already used that whole package that I bought. Uh, no, there's oh. some over there. But oh I, made, I made a doll bed. I would show uh -huh. you how to do that, but it was really hard to do. Because I had to let, each step I had to let dry. So, I'll try to make a video with that later, but we'll see. I think I'm going to, I'm going to have to uh, order some more, um, Sticks. Okay, so I'm. Um, I don't need this. Why don't we the put the water actually. on the floor? Yeah. Can we put the water on the floor? Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna start off with the brown. And I'm gonna get my craft stick and get me some brown. Now, you will. it. This paint is very deceiving. You will need more. You will need a lot to coat it because it's kind of clear. It's like. It's, see, it's a little see through, so you can have to put a lot to work. Okay, so y'all see. Hopefully, everybody can see. Got the brown paint, right? Yep. Wait, 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 don't, don't do that. Wait a minute. Okay. No, put your lid on. Okay. She's looking for somewhere to lay those <laughs> down. We, you know, you do have to think ahead a little bit. Um, no, let's get something. Just wait a minute. Okay. Uh, let your mom think for a second. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll just get a piece of paper. So we'll just get, and then you can lay it down on the floor. Okay, the little sticks. Okay. Okay. Now. So now to lighten it up and make it peach. Why don't you just use the other side of the stick, the stick that you just used, so you don't waste another one. If it gets on your hands, I can give you something to wipe it off. Okay. And you want to use quite a bit, but don't mix the colors because you will get colors in like. In yeah, the you mean don't mix your colors within the container of yeah. paint. Yeah. Now you can use that to mix up your color first a little bit. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're getting that peach and brown. Okay, and we hear the yard guy. Of course, every time you all, we want to make a video every afternoon. Oh, goodness. So you probably always hear the noise of the lawnmower and blower. Okay. It made like a really light. Yeah, can you really hold it? Really light milk chocolate color. Can you hold it up? Yeah. I think that's a good mousy color. That's cute. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so I'm actually going to wet my brush. It makes it a lot easier if you wet it in the head of time. And then put the lid back on the jar so that you don't knock it over? Yeah. That would not be good. Okay, okay. so let me just kind of move a few things so that I can actually. Okay, so you're going to paint your plate. Now, does this paint dry fairly quick? Oh, it dries super quick. Like, by the time I start the ears yeah. and all that stuff, it will be dry. Oh, I'm disappointed that you can hear the blower outside. Aw. Oh. oh, well. It won't be the whole video, I promise. He should be done soon. He's been here ages. Okay. He has, he has his job to do, too, so... We just have bad timing. We always <laughs> Oh, goodness. Always. And your room is to the front of the house, so. Yeah. Like, if we were in my room, you wouldn't hear it as much. Yeah, you wouldn't even Okay, so you're coloring the plate the light brown for the mouse, which we would use gray, but we do not have yeah. white. Okay. And but, this, um, the set that I got, unfortunately, didn't have gray, so. I well, that's like why it. you mix colors. But, yep. Um, but we ordered another set of paint exactly like this, but it has 48 colors in it. Yeah. Now, knowing Anna, it will be gone soon because she loves to use it, which is what it's for. But I'm just saying, they're really small. Containers. Containers of paint. That's the only sad problem. I did order some primary colors in the bigger um, container. And it has a huge thing of white, which I'm so excited yes. about. Did I order a big thing of white? Uh -huh. I did. In, in that little pack of the tin pack that has all the oh, big yeah. colors, okay. it has a big thing of white in it. Now, there. I am curious to know if that paint is, this paint is almost exactly like acrylic, but I'm, I'm wondering if the paint that's in those bigger tubs is different. I'm pretty sure it's the same because we had a neighbor and I used to go, they moved, but I used to go over to their house and I, we would do crafts and we would paint. Okay, and she had that. those paint colors. Okay, you're going to hold good that enough. up. I don't have any more paint. Okay, so, yep. So there it is. We have painted it. Okay, let's move. Brown. You're not going to use that so anymore, now right? I'm going to move this. Put nope. that over we here. We will need this for a different craft, so I'm just going to... Quickly. Why don't I just get you a different one that's clean? Okay. Yeah, I'll go get it. Aren't those in the in the little blue thing, blue thing yeah. that's okay. in the thing? So I'm just okay. gonna <laughs> set that to the side, and now we're gonna wear. So we're going to do the circle ears. So you're gonna have one. Have your um. You need to draw your circles. You can use a cup. Like, see that cup right there, the bottom of it. Trace it. Which I know you're pretty good at circles, but this, you know, for a young child, it's hard to do a circle. And your paper's folded, so actually you could just... Um, yeah, that's why I said to have the paper folded, because it will make two. Okay. Okay, let's show it. Let's show it. So, there it is. No, you can't see it that far off. And down. Yep, there you go. Okay, now you can do it. And now you're going to want to just cut on your line. Okay, both cats are going, hold on, I'll be back. <laughs> hey, y'all do not belong in there. Thank goodness Bumbo's in the bathroom. She'd be, she'd be getting into the paint. She runs everywhere. She's, she's put up for this video. Okay. Okay, so we have our two circles. Okay, wait a minute, hold them still. If you're waving them in the air, we can't see them. Okay. And yeah. now we're going to want to draw a little tiny The circle. eye and the nose. Yep. First we do the yep. nose. The paint container would make a good one if you could figure that out. Or the glue. The glue. The, the, yep. You could do the eye and the nose the same size. Because mm -hmm. I think yours is the same size. 
Oh good, the noise is stopped. Okay, so we don't need a double so you because we don't need two pink noses. So you're just not you don't want it to have to be doubled. And now you're just gonna wanna cut it out. My leg is so asleep. <laughs> Shift your legs to the side maybe so you're not falling asleep. Yeah, there you go. We didn't think about that. Yeah, sit, sitting Indian style. But if you do them to the side, hopefully they'll be okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. You got to those? Let me see. So there's our little nose. Down. Yep. And now... Just use it. Use that to trace on the black for the eye. We're going to do the tail. The tail. We'll do the eye. Okay, okay so down. so what you do is you're just gonna wanna like make like a squiggle like this kind of so make a little shape like that and then you're gonna wanna just kind of kind of go around like a snail kind of like a snail and then And then you're just going to kind of want to go back over it and make it a little thinner if it's a little too thick. Like, see, that's just a little too thick, the top. Okay, so there's the little squiggly tail. Down. Yep. Now I'm going to get a little square. I'm just going to make one little square black because we may need this for a different craft. I don't know. <sighs> okay, so you're going to want to take your little glue stick. And make the circle for the nose. For the nose. I mean, for the eye. Sorry, the eye. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there it is. The uh, there it doesn't show up very well. Should have done. I have a little sharpie pen right there. I should have used that because the um the lead didn't show up. The lead is very hard. Or a white to see. crayon. Yeah, yeah white like crayon. white crayon on construction paper is really good, especially for a young child. So there. Whoops. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Okay, so okay. it's dry enough, but we don't actually we'll do the you ears need to glue first. The sticks to the ears, okay. right? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your ear. Oh, Victoria has the tape. Take a little piece of tape. Scotch. Scotch tape. And then take your Little I'd still put some glue stick. on the back of that thing. Yep. Nope. Slow down just a bit. There we go. Gotta enjoy and what you're doing. Just stick it down. Okay, and the other one. And then take your little piece of tape. Tape it at the top and then tape it at the bottom. Okay, you're going to need to show that. Okay, same Show it down. It's like a popsicle. Like, yep. Not a popsicle. A and then lollipop. you've got the extra reinforcement, uh, like a lollipop, of the glue that helps in case the tape gives, because more than likely the tape will give. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to want to do the same thing for the other side. Okay. So, scotch tape is pretty essential in this house. We use a lot of scotch yep. tape. Even if we have any, it gets used. Even if we didn't intend it to be used. <laughs> okay, so. You can make your Mickey Mouse here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, so actually, yeah. So we're gonna put those aside and we're gonna do the nose. I'm actually gonna use, since the glue, since the paint is a little wet, I'm gonna use actual glue for the nose. So take your pink nose. There's a film of glue on, on the top. Let's slow down. Slow down. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little dot of glue on it. Yes, okay. Okay. And then you just press it down. Okay, show. Hold the plate up when you're done. <coughs> okay. Like that. Very cute. And then take You could even make a kitty cat like that and put a pointy ear 
Oh, yeah. It would, and put some tabby stripes on it, and it would look like Bun Bun. Oh! That's so <laughs> That'd be really cute. Oh, we could put it on the door. Yeah. We have four cats, so we'd have to make four. Okay? So let's A hold. white. Flower would be the easiest one. Rose would be the hardest okay, one. Okay, let's hold it up. So, there's the eye. You're just doing the same thing as the nose. Yep. You could even do... Oh, hold that up. You could make a rain fair out of that for Christmas. Oh, tomorrow. you could! Yeah. You could just cut out antlers! Uh-huh. So, huh. really, it's a good basic animal shape. Okay? Okay. So, you don't want to need that again. I keep forgetting where I put things. By the way, we bought a, like, 350 pack of paper plates, but it's not... It's the kind of paper plates that have a little finish on them, a wax finish, yeah. to make them a little stronger. Um... I bought them for crafts because okay, I knew. So you're just gonna want to place them. You could even I have I got I got this idea off the internet and I kind of changed it up for my idea. So like they did ears like that, they did ears like that, they did ears like that. So I like you them can like really that. Yeah. Do it however you want. So if I were you, I would do glue and tape again. Glue and tape. Yeah. some more glue sticks. I think I have another I one. I do? Okay. Now, and, and the good thing about Target, you don't have the delays either that you've had with other places. We've gotten our items within two days. Now, I have two rolls of tape right here. Yep. In one place. Now that was a Kroger pickup item, the tape. We got that from Kroger. And you're just going to want to tape it? But you do want to let your items that you order uh, via mail sit for a little bit because of the COVID. There okay. we go. And you have an That's adorable so little mouse. And it could be a cat if you did pointed ears. Yep, it could be a cat. And whiskers. I told her we needed oh. whiskers. So just take you a pin. Yeah. I just have a sharpie pen. Yeah. Because I, I, yeah. Now, let's see. It's now you can see them. That's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add it. And, and, oh, we forgot the tail. Oh yes, tail. he needs his tail. Okay. Okay. Okay, Did give I him his tail. Away? Where's the tail? Okay, so this for one. the tail. Which way does it turn? Oh no. Okay, put it down. So you could do. You could do it up. Like that, but mine is down. I kind of like up better. I think so curly and up is cute. Up. Yeah. So, where is the... So, you're going to want to just tape it as close. You don't You don't want to put it on the edge. You don't want to put it right there, but you do want to give it... You, you don't want it to be all the way here. So, just do, like, tape it in two little places. Or three. Okay, so I would now always glue first, but the little mouse always glue is first. Finished. Okay, we forgot to move the glue first, but that's okay. I would do it. if I were you and you wanted it to last. I'll put some glue on it. That's adorable. Okay, that's cute as a button. Yeah, number one done. Let's cute do the elephant. Okay, now. it's a really quick and easy craft, especially really good for if you have like a three-year-old because short, short. Short attention span. Shorter attention spans, yes. Don't need that. Okay. So for this, where did my I had crayons here, guys. Oh. I have to go over with them. <laughs> so I oh, just you grabbed... even have some of the fatter crayons. Oh yeah, I do. I just found these. <laughs> They're they look nicer than my other ones because I have ha haven't had these for as long as my other crayons. So yes, yeah, so you're gonna need crayons. You're gonna need glue. Of course, you're going to need a paper plate. I don't, you don't need, really need scissors. You don't need your Sharpie, do you? Nope. Oh, okay. You need, you do need scissors. You may need a pencil, just depending. I didn't, I didn't trace this, but if you're younger, you could just draw it first. And it, you would think that it would take two paper plates for this, for this part and then for the nose, but it didn't. I just used the same paper plate. So... I'm just going to start off, I'm just going to use this as a guide to, um... Well, how did you do that? How did you know what shape to do it, though? So, I looked up a picture. I actually also found this one on the internet. Most of them 
came from the internet. I just was looking for paper plate ideas, but I put a twist on all of mine. So yes, um, and so I looked at the picture and I saw that it had it had the big ear, it had the big ear. So and this most paper plates like the plate that I have has a circle where it's indented, it has like a little circle. And that's gonna be like the head part. And then the ears are just like about the size of your hand, a little bit. For my hands, I have pretty long hands, but so it's a little bit bigger than my hand. So, okay. yeah. Okay. And then, so I'm just gonna use this to trace it. And then you actually just, you wanna kinda, I'm not gonna trace the nose because the nose is totally separate. So the nose is cut out from that piece that's left over. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay, my finger is stuck. Hold on. Okay, so now you're just gonna wanna cut that out. are very hard to cut. Yeah, you need so, an adult. Yes. I would I would the adult should cut the form out first and then let the child. Or you older kids who have younger siblings. You could do it for your younger siblings. Right. And then you could you could like play like you're giving your little sibling an art lesson. Right. For you all who need something to do with your younger siblings, you could do each and every one of these crafts together with your younger siblings. And even if you had a little brother, like a this class. doesn't have to be a girl, you, like a little girl elephant. I just did that because I, Victoria made this, so I yeah. wanted to add a bow. So I'm actually going to do this one more as a boy so that we have a girl and a boy to show. So I'm going to use the, the blue crayon instead of, because she had, I just gave her a bunch of different colors and she just kind of colored it. So yeah, so for that, actually, this is not the same. Well, this is, these animals are cute for boys, and if yeah, you had some blue dots or something, they could put them on their wall without, yeah, like, they hurting could. anything. Yeah, really cute, like no. in a fridge, if you have a fridge. Yeah. Well, everyone has a fridge, <laughs> if you want to put it on a fridge. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take the little leftover piece, and you're just going to kind of cut it. You're going to want it to be kind of big on one end, because that'll be the trunk shape. So, I take about, maybe that's, maybe that's about, maybe a half an inch off. And then there you have your little trunk shape, and you'll just glue that right there once you're finished coloring. So, I'm just going to quickly color this. So, you're making a blue elephant, right? Yes. Okay. That is poking my hand. Yeah, actually, I think it would be a really good idea for, um, like, an older, younger sibling yeah. idea. I mean, because if... Uh, yeah. Because okay. you like playing school, so if somebody yeah. doesn't want to play school with their dolls, they can play school and help their mom occupy their younger sibling, right? Right. This, I mean, this is like... And, like, you don't have to know. Like, you could play, like... You could play like, like school. You like especially with those the rainbow craft that we're gonna make in a second. You could like use those and stuff to be like in it if you played school. And this would make like a cute little art lesson if you wanted to play. And it'd be really fun for like, yeah. So the ears are. I really may title difficult. the video with that older younger sibling craft ideas. I think that's a good idea. But I do, I do wish that we would have done the craft supply list at the beginning. But, um, you know, we could, we could put it at the end because sometimes people fast forward. So we could do that. Or I might do a little separate video just with, like, you discussing basic things to have in your house. Yes, for every kind of craft. Right. Like, I have done so many things with these paper plates. 
I think I've even done more that I haven't even done in this video. I don't remember all that I've crafts that I've done with it. I know. I when I saw that big lot. bag of paper plates, I thought, oh, I've got to get this. This is useful. Construction paper, paper plates, glue. Yeah, I've got <laughs> construction paper for Days. months. You can make anything with construction paper. We also save a lot of boxes cause, because you can turn boxes into things. And that Crayola paint really has a good coverage. And we've covered boxes with construction paper yeah. and glue. Yeah, and painted I them. Do all the time. Okay, you almost done with your yep, blue I elephant? Got a, okay. Got a little... I'm gonna have to color on this tabletop. The crayon is like that, so it's not the easiest. And even if you didn't have crayons, you could use, like, which most everybody has crayons. But if you didn't have crayons, you could, like, use something like, what do I want? You could use, if you're older and making this, you might could use markers, but not with a little one. But um, you could do, like, colored pencils and stuff. And, like, they make the erasable colored pencils and stuff. So... Okay, so now you're just going to Why don't you hold your pieces little... up for me? So there they are, all nice and colored. Yeah. And they look really good. Boy, so I'll... now we're going to take the little the glue and put it just the, about like an inch on the top of the little thing. Hold on, it's not coming out. There it goes. It's about all you need. Okay. So, and then you're just going to want to, you can stick it wherever you want. Like, you could stick it over here. You could stick it in the middle. I kind of like it like this. Wait, so, like, they can't see with the light. This is the light show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. That's good. That's cute. It's sliding a little. You can so, use some tape temporarily if yeah. you need to. You can even put the tape on the back. Yep. Put the tape on the back. Now, okay, until it dries. There we go. Okay. Okay. So now, now this would you could cut if you're if you're doing it with a little one. You could just go ahead instead of coloring the eyes on. You could get construction paper or googly eyes. Googly eyes would be really cute. Um, but you know, now that you mention googly eyes, I saw a bag of googly eyes, but I was like, what am I going to use googly eyes for? <laughs> now I know. But I have where did my Sharpie, so I'm going to do that. You could also use a pen or a... Washable Crayola washable marker, marker for a child. Yes. Google eyes, yeah, like I said, or paint or construction paper or foam or anything you wanted to. You could even use pom-poms. That'd be cute. Like little black pom-poms. That'd, That'd be, be really, really cute. cute. Or blue. You could use any color. I need color. to get some pom-poms. Mm -hmm. So just kind of do like a little circle. And then just color in the bottom. It's not going to work with a Sharpie the best because it's like sh a f it has a f this these paper plates have a film on them. So yeah, so there is our adorable little elephant. It's cute. It's so cute. Very so cute. So now I'll have two of everything, so yeah. it'll be really cute. You can use them okay. in your baby doll nursery. I can. Your girl. That's okay. I'm just going to have to do this. Mm -hmm. I can't take it anymore. Okay. okay. But let's one? watch that water jar. Oh. Oh, yeah. uh, well, let's put this on the other side because that would also... That is going to ruin your crafts if it falls over and the lid comes off. Yeah. Okay, okay. which one should we do next? We have the ladybug. We have the mobile. We have the... I kind of want to do the boat. But we also have the... Let's do... We also have the owl. Let's do the... Oh, or we could do the little... Let's Rainbow. do the little, yeah, the little educational ones are really super cute. Okay. The popsicle ones. Do you have the okay. construction paper for those? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to do these first and then these. Okay. So, for these, you're going to want to have a popsicle stick. So, really all... How many? How many? Well... I'm not going to make five. Every one of them. Yeah, so, on. if you can make, you can get creative. You can make 
you could make a black one, a white one. You could make, like, I have the orange, green, yellow, red, and blue. You could make purple. You could make pink. You could make, what are all the colors? You all can make not, all the different kind of colors in the they're rainbow. They're popsicles all the with ones. the colors, yeah. Yeah, and so you can really get Because we were talking and we thought even, because see, you have secondary colors in there too. So so you could like take, if you're trying to show your child what colors you mix to make what colors, like take your primaries, your red and your yellow, and then say they equal the orange or, you know, you can do a lot of games with these, but then... But right now it's a mi it's a mix match game. So yes. what you do is you take all the sticks out, uh -huh, like all this. of them out. Yeah, put them in one pile and kind of mix them Here, around. Here, put them on the, where they can see. Yeah, and then you take these, mix them up, right. and then you would like say. And then you let your toddler put them back together uh -huh. correctly, and see they have the spelling on them. Uh -huh. So let's show. Red. Uh huh. Red. Orange. orange. So it's a good way to practice, Yellow. yes, your spelling with the color. Green. Also, if you're doing the letter of the day, I've seen a lot of people are doing letters of the day. You can use these for your letter of the day. Like if it's a Y, you can use your yellow popsicle. So these, this, I love this idea. So I'm gonna put this aside. So this one actually is the simplest craft. It does take a while to dry, but that it, so I would make sure I'm not going to use a glue stick. I don't know how well it would use. These were supposed to be done with felt. That's the idea that where I got it from. But it works wonderfully with paper. So that's what yeah, I Yeah, the paper is cheaper and easier. Yes. Okay, so. Now, I'm just going to cut a square wait, do out it of on this. The, do it on the thing. So, so I'm just going to cut a square out of this because I don't want all these holes everywhere. So okay. just take your construction paper. So you need construction paper. Mm-hmm. You will need scissors. Yep. However many you're making, you will need popsicle sticks. And you'll need glue. That's an easy peasy. But you color your so, stick first. Yep. What you gonna color your stick with? Paint. Okay. Um, you could use a crayon or a marker, or a marker but right I don't have one with me. Okay. Actually, I can just go grab one. It's okay. right here. Just like, I gotta be I think it would be fun to do it in, with paint. Um, Just to say, but that. on the video we will use it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to save some time. By now, you parents may agree. Oh, a pink. Okay. However, would be a wait a second. If you use a wax crayon, you need to write with your sharpie marker yes. the color first on there. So let's do the pink. Where is my sharpie? Where did it go? It's hiding. Okay. So okay. my sharpie. Now I'm going to write the word pink. So now we're going to color it. I'm not going to color it on this. Do it really dark, so. Yeah. There we go. Okay. This isn't necessarily a craft to do with a little one. This is a craft for you to do to teach oh, I the think, little ones. I think this is Because it's pretty complicated. I think it's cute, though, for them. They could do the sticks, for sure. Yeah, they could do the sticks, but you'd need to definitely put Okay, do the okay, back so of it. There's the stick. Wait, 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 show it right here. I think we should have put the pink closer to the handle. It might interfere with where the popsicle's gonna go, but we'll see. Okay. Actually, the crown's a pretty good idea, but the paint is fun too. If your child just wants to use paint, like, the good thing about this paint, like, it's washable. Yeah, like I got some on the floor. And it, and it right just off. came right off. I used a little wipe with some soap. Okay. Right off. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to want to stick your stick right in the middle of the paper. Why don't you use some tape so, to secure it? Do or wait. Not, well, do not yes, tape it on the paper. Do not tape it on the paper. Tape it on the surface. Well, then you're going to have to tape, tape your... Okay. So, okay. There. Well, that'll okay. work. Okay. And then enough. take your glue and go. Do not get super close to it. You need to have about like half an inch around, mm -hmm. just like that. Because if you were to do it all around, It'll keep it from would sliding. it wouldn't it wouldn't have a hole it to where it could. You can just go do it like in. this. If it gets glue ever gets on your hands, just 
Well, you're, you're going to wash them anyway. Okay? Because if you um, put it too close, you wouldn't be able to stick the stick in. It would glue shut, and mm -hmm. you'd have to start over. So, and you're going to want to do that around in the shape. Do the entire sheet so that you can just kind of... Now, you could you, actually, yeah. don't do the entire sheet, just, now we're done with the popsicle stick. We don't need that anymore. Now all you have to do is just fold your sheet of paper in half. And the glue will smudge together, so you need to make sure you leave enough space. Okay, and then make sure that you can go back in there and stick it. Hold on. Yeah, yeah I see? would. There we go. Right after I cut it, I would actually stick the stick back in it and after then, you cut it, yeah. You'll just cut it out. Uh-huh. That's so cute. So cute. You know what? Oh, my goodness. I just thought of something. To learn to spell your name when you're little, what, this would be a cute way. Don't do it with words. Do each um, each thing with a letter. Yeah. Like, you know, that'd be so cute. Okay, so there you have it. And just, you don't want to leave the stick in the wide stride. Because if you leave the stick in while it's drying, the stick will stick. Mm -hmm. So, even okay, if there's just together, a little see. bit of glue in there, mm -hmm. it will. You can still smudge it back okay, in there. Okay, now show it. So there it is. Yep, that's cute. Okay, <gasps> perfect. So that one's done. Okay, uh, it's got to dry. Okay, that's Let's cute. I love it because you could do any kind of variation on that one. Okay. This one needs to be a painted. Yes, this has to be painted. This craft. Did you okay? Did you paint it the plate and then let it dry and then cut it? Yes. Is that how you did it? Okay. Or you could you could if you were doing so. Okay, let the me explain. Would make a big mess. Let me explain. Okay, if you were having a little child do this, I would cut the strips first, even and but to make sure you have your surface covered because it would get everywhere. If you were letting a little toddler do this, cut the strips first and let them paint each strip because if because they if they paint they, the whole they plate. paint the whole plate <laughs> because you have to have the colors distinctively thing and it was really hard for me to not get them to mix in together. It was really hard. So yeah, so let me. Just, I think it'd be cute to write the letter to the write the letter of the color on the the rainbow art, but you don't have to do that. You know, for the Roy G. Biff. Yeah. For those, like, third, I think in third grade was when you learned that. Um, red, orange, yellow, you know, blue, indigo, black. Okay, so, anyway. So, what okay. you need is so the plate. paper plate. Yeah. Let me make sure this is just I think you plate. just need to paint the plate. But That's what I'm doing. Okay. But, like I said, if you have a toddler, make sure you do it that way because they would go all over the place. And that would not be good because it wouldn't work. So, take, you, you need a paper plate, you need scissors, you need... <laughs> so, a pencil for drawing. <laughs> and then you also need paint. Some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama. Okay. And, and look at your paint. <laughs> Hold your paint up. Look at the order they're in. Yeah, so <laughs> you, I didn't actually do them in this order because. Oh, wait, no, they did them out of order. Shoot, I was thinking at first they were in order, but they're not. Actually, they are. No, Roy G. Biv. That's the yellow, red. orange, red. Yeah. Red, orange, yellow, then the green. No, blue, say orange. that it's, it's blue. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the dark blue. But, oh, it is Roy G. Biv. They yeah, are in order. It, it is. Yeah, okay. Um, But, yeah. I was so, trying to look at them and, and they were moving, so. <laughs> Let me okay. make sure which one has that actually has yellow in it. I think that one does. But I like to have this one on hand also because it has the, I like to use the light blue and the dark, light green. For mine, that's just my personal opinion. I like the light green and light blue better. So, so what we're going to start off doing is just cut your paper plate in half. And also, these are things you should have at home. Even if you didn't have paint, you could still do this. Even though the paint you is could do it with crayons. the best thing. Yeah, you yeah. could do it with crayons. But I like the vivid. The, yeah, the okay. paint looks so much better. But if you didn't have these things and you wanted to have something you did, you could do it that way. So you need to count the colors um, of the rainbow. So we have one, eight. So there's eight colors and you want to make eight strips. They don't necessarily have to be equal. 
They just divide it in half first. Divide it in half first, and then four. Well, that's my advice. Divide it in half, and then divide the two <laughs> halves into four. But I mean, Anna made this herself, so she's very, very, very capable. I'm just giving some advice. Only thing bad, I shouldn't have gotten a mechanical pencil. For yeah, this mechanical pencils are not the best. Let me get one that's a regular two. pencil. And they don't have to be straight. It doesn't matter. And that is, yes, much easier to use than a mechanical pencil because you can't bear down with a mechanical pencil. Um. Okay, and then make sure you cut out the Wait, little whoa, whoa, whoa. You did not show them. Hey, oh. hey, hey. So that's what this it should look like. This is why mom is here. Real close. See it? Okie dokie. Okay, mom and is riding on a <laughs> Cut the little excess, because last time I had more excess than I did this time, but that's okay. It doesn't matter how much you have. As long as your eight colors fit in the half of the thing, you need to make sure that they fit. Okay, so you have that. Definitely for this craft, this, we'll is, the this is the bottom of something, so it doesn't matter. But make sure you cover your surface. I mean, I don't I care anyway because it's washable. Yes. But just to make a stain. Make it. Now, make it. now, I will say that the paintbrushes don't need to go back near the baby blanket. Yeah, definitely. And that your sock is about to get into this oh. right here. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the okay. water? Right there. Okay. Why don't I go get some Q-tips? Can we use, and that way you can use each color per Q-tip. You don't have to check, you don't have to clean your brushes. Well, how are you going to clean your brush? In the water. I don't. You don't have anything to dry it off with. It can be wet. It works better if it's wet. Okay. 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 I, I will say as a mom that you could also use Q-tips. Yes. For a little kid. If, yes, if a little kid. But it, it won't show. It, it, it would it would be really hard to yeah. use. If the it mom would is making it. Paint. Right. If a mom is making this for a useful tool. Uh, then, yes, paint it with a paintbrush so that it is perfect. If the little kid wants to make it themselves, mm -hmm. and the mom can make one, then just give them Q-tips and throw them in the garbage. I'm I've, using, there, I have two colors of red. I always get them mixed up. I like the brighter red better for the rainbow. It seems to be thicker, so... I don't know if I did two. I think I did two coats because this is a lot thinner than the other one. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that I did two coats. Kind of show it as you're doing it so people can see because it's hard. I can't move the camera and it's flat. Your tape's flat. Yes, ma'am. There we go. Okay, so the first layer is done. Now we're going to move on after since we have red, we're going to do yellow. I mean, orange. I know. Rainbow. So, yeah, I'm just going to. Water is now pink. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Did you show everybody? Uh huh. Okay, so now. You showed them up up close. Do you need a wipe? Yeah. As you can see, it is lit paint. So, of course, you're gonna get your hand in it. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to start with the orange, just going around. I'm using the lighter orange because I feel like the lighter orange, it is, it's, it's a different, like the darker orange, the darker red is on this one. I use the lighter red and so I'm using the lighter orange too. There isn't two colors of yellow, so there's just one yellow in this pack that I got. So yeah. Now I'm gonna finish this. We still got the yard guy here. I think it's another yard guy. Oh, the noises of the neighborhood. Oh goodness. Okay, so you got your. So I would definitely do two coats. I probably most likely did two coats mm -hmm. because I think okay, I did. No, so no, there's that. So now I'm gonna do yellow, yeah. but first I need to wash my brush. like this paintbrush. It's a really nice paintbrush. Those were Michaels. Michaels. Those are actually acrylic like painters paintbrushes, but you can use any kind of paintbrush. Here we go. Okay, okay. so. You got your yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Red, orange, yellow. And if you do get out of the lines when you're painting, because I do a lot, but it doesn't matter. The lines are just there to make sure you don't do one teeny tiny one big so even if you do go don't get to the line or go out of the line it is okay <laughs> okay just fixing it the yellow looks really nice i love the yellow paint yeah, I'll just I, I just really love this paint i i when i first i, I ordered one no, I ordered two to begin with because that was for your Easter basket. And it was the only thing that I could really get at the moment because we weren't shopping around, you know, because of the quarantine. So this was what Kroger had. And so for those of you who might have a Kroger, Kroger pickup, you can get these. Okay, so there's Kroger has all kinds of craft supplies. Yep, that is gorgeous. Now, like I said, I've learned that Target. Target's amazing. You can get within two days. Now, like I said, you need to spray the box with Lysol or wipe it down and then let it sit for a day or two just to avoid germs. Okay. Now, I'm going to switch to light green because I like the light green better than the dark green. But the paint is endless, endless hours of entertainment, especially if you get the, the big thing of paper plates. Anna Maria has had a lot of fun with it. Okay, now you're on the green. Mm -hmm. And if this is not, this probably will take a few minutes to dry. So we will go on to another craft and then we will can come back to this craft and I'll show you how I cut it. That's just the way we're gonna have to do it. Cause we can't just sit here and wait and let it dry so we'll just have to do another craft and then come back to this one but i do that a lot of times have you shown the green yet oh yeah that looks pretty so this is a longer video but this gives you an idea of like how much if you want things that take time then here you go you know educational things that don't involve complete now yes we are using an electronic device to teach but the, your child and you all watching all of Andrea's subs you all can still be hands on at the same time and I think it's fine to watch YouTube videos and everything and be hands on at the same time mm -hmm. the best thing to do if you are watching this watch the video first you can fast forward a little bit and then the next when you're going to actually make it click the video on while you're making it because that will actually i've done that it makes it a lot easier because sometimes you forget and it's just a lot easier 
Okay, so now you are on what color? Blue. <laughs> okay. So there it is. That looks good. Light blue. There's not a lot of light blue in this, but if I use it all, I have another. Over there. What you doing? I'm thinking. I was looking. That blue is lighter than the other blue, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. I didn't want the... So there's three colors of blue. If you think this one's too light, there's a medium or the dark. But I don't like the dark. I like the dark, but I don't... For the rainbow, I don't want to do it. It's more like an indigo. Because it's so dark. I must have done... I think I did too many uh, little lines. Because I've got an extra one. Okay, you want to show that? That looks good. Oh, you need to show this. What? How to curl paper. <laughs> oh, but that was an Easter crap. I know, but this is so cute. Okay, but anyway. I'll show it while you're... Look, did you show them the rainbow? I will in just a second. I can show how to make it when I'm done with this. See these? Wait, look at those. Okay, wait, I'll show you some more. Look at... You can make bows and everything out of these. They're really cute. That's pretty. That's so pretty. See? She just used paper strips and a pencil. That's it. Yep. I will show I can show okay. you how to do well, that. They run have, out of time. I yeah. still have one more. So I like to use the dark level. We're at an hour and six minutes. This is gonna take <laughs> ages to upload. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's actually the upload time hasn't been too bad. Oh. Okay, now we're on the Purple. Last color. Violet. And make sure you do a really thick, thick for the violet. You don't want to leave white. Yeah. Wait, did you skip one? Mm -mm. I just did too many. Oh. I did too okay. many. I wasn't paying attention. It's to fine. Many ones. It, it allows you to have a place to hold it. So yeah, it does. It's not bad. So you'll just cut them out. Mm. No problem. And we really don't have to show cutting it out. You just, you know, because you're you're making it clear that once it's dry, you've got to cut it out or it's not going to be a puzzle. Yeah. So you want it to be a puzzle. You could actually make two crafts out of one paper plate, do two rainbows, have one. Hey, if you got two kids, then you use one paper plate. Yeah, but if you okay. have one kid, you could do, like, have two, two rainbows, have one, like, is, like, do little white clouds and then have one you hold as it the, up I will hold on oh, that'd be cute. and then have oh. one as yeah. the little as a picture and then one as a puzzle okay can I see it held yeah, up hold on. <clears throat> yes lovely it's beautiful okay um I'm gonna put that over there I don't want you to, want paint to stick your foot Victoria. in it <laughs> by the way she'll probably do a craft at some point me these coffee filters because you can make flowers with coffee filters. Witchcraft okay. next. Oh, can yes. we do the clay craft next? No, we're probably not going to have time to do those. Okay. okay. Um, but that did give an idea at the beginning, which was good. Okay. Now you've got your owl, your ladybug, and your boat. And the mobile. And the mobile. I think we're not going to have time for that mobile. That's a long. I mean, we're at an hour and eight minutes. We can. We may have to do a second video. I think that I think that we could do a different video for the mobile because it's a reborn video. Yes, that would be perfect for reborn. It's got yeah. Hair and okay. Face. Um, okay. Let's do the boat. I love the boat. It was. It was this craft. If you were under the age of six, you this craft probably would not work for you. Yes, it will. Wait it a is. minute. You know what? Let, let me make this decision here. This is the perfect craft for under the age of six. With a parent's assistance, a little boy would love to make a boat. Yes. I have to disagree. Sorry, y'all. It's very I love very Anna. But, but okay. Yes. Well, so how would we say, what would we say then? If, because remember, we're saying older sibling, younger one. So who yeah, does the hard stuff? The older sibling. Okie dokie. So, Hold for this craft... Course. So here's this. What's the back look like? 
Okay, so you could use um, craft sticks. Yeah, for that's that. what I yeah, used for didn't this. Have any I didn't yet. have any this time because I did this on Easter. Um, so I didn't have any yet. So I just recently got the craft sticks. So for this, you will need tissue paper, paper towels, tissues, just tear them apart, or toilet paper. But yeah. Let me tell you, really I have say, that right now. Okay. I don't go buy tissue paper. Like, I save things that I think are going to be crafty. So, whenever I bought clothing and they you know, fold my nice clothing up with uh, tissue paper, then I save the tissue paper. Okay, so yeah, tissue paper, two paper plates. Uh huh. Um, you will need paint and paintbrush. You will need glitter. Or glitter glue if you do have glitter this glue. This is the part that needs to be done by the older sibling. Yep, and there's another part that is so. Yeah, and you also need clear glue, clear Elmer's glue. Yep. What else? What paint. Else? Oh, <laughs> I said paint. Oh. <laughs> um, tape, you will need tape. Um, if you do not have craft sticks, like the first time I made this, I did not have craft sticks. You can just use a piece of cardboard or a piece of the paper. Yeah, now plate, I'm not. Re I'm regretting not ordering the 500 craft sticks. I told which you. I, didn't, I, <laughs> I told her. Oh, by the I way, those came that. from Walmart. Yes, 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 they did. But so I think Target need, has. Them. Actually, I need three of these. Not two. You need three of these. Actually, Walmart pickup. That was a Walmart pickup order. Those yes. craft sticks. Yeah. Okay. What else? Okay. I'm trying to think. Brush. Or what are you gonna use? Okay, that's everything I have. What that's everything I need. Okay. So, to start off with, put everything to the side. You want to cut one paper plate in half. I'm actually may just use this other half because okay. I'm not gonna waste it. Yeah, you've got plates. the bottom of the boat already. Look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna save that. We don't need that yet. This will take a whole paper plate. That's why I wouldn't just use one a ha one hole. So you're just gonna want to do like a triangle here. Oh, where is? Where did the pencil go? Okay. So you're just gonna want to cut like trace two triangles, but make them a little bit where one side is a little longer. And then really hard on a paper plate. So kind of like that. Okay, we see them. So the two sails, okay. right? Right. And now just cut those out. I really think that this this paper, this curly paper, food, <laughs> is really good tactile stuff what so is you, tactile mean? it means you can feel it like for um i've got a friend who's um got a child that's visually impaired so like if you wanted to do a counting with tactile and they could actually make the little the little uh curls because they're really easy you just, they could even cut out the strips yeah, you cut little thin strips of paper, take a pencil, wrap it around the pencil, just hold it for about, count to five, hold it for that long, and then just take it off and you have a little curly thing. Yeah, and it would be really good, you know. And if it didn't curl in five seconds, just hold it for a I think longer. it would. And but, uh, uh, yeah, mine, I didn't even have to hold it for five seconds. Now, seconds. I don't know. We have not tried this with construction paper. This is a really little, this but is scrapbooking paper. Yeah. And it's thin, so if you have, on a lot of, I'll have scrapbooking paper. And so. you could always try with construction paper. I don't, I don't know if it would I work. I don't think it would work, okay. but you could try it if you wanted to. But, so yeah, so you have these. You have mm -hmm. your little Your sails in your boat. Yep. So, I'm trying to decide. So, I actually did the waves last. And I put them on, I glued them on wet. Yes, yeah, did you show that up close? Because I glued the wa waves on wet. So cute. I glued yes. the waves on wet. And uh -huh. I don't, it was really hard to glue. So I think we may do those first to let them dry a little bit. So actually. But we'll, what about the paint for the boat? We'll, what if, pa we'll paint the boat after we make the What if the you color the boat with a crayon instead? I think it'd no. be actually quicker to paint. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you actually do need a separate sheet of paper. This is the part that you definitely need the older separate sibling. Separate plate. 
Wait, what? <laughs> Separate sheet of paper. <laughs> She'll just need blues. I actually did some white. We're playing with the <laughs> See, I like these little curly cues. They're a... really fun. They're fun. Okay. Okay. So, you'll need three different colors of blue. If you, you don't have to have three colors of blue. It just makes it look a little bit more like waves. Now, this, you can just tear it into little squares. Don't cut it. You don't want it to be exact. I would get your child or your sibling or your brother or sister to tear the little pieces ahead of time? Yes. Yeah. Like. So just, they don't have to be perfect. You can have different shapes. They can have a hole in the middle. They don't have to be perfect. Right but like I said, right after this, this video, we may do a short one real quick and I'm going to run through the supplies she has already out right now. And then I post that as the supply video. So that you can watch the supply video before you watch this video, don't you think? Yes. Yeah. And I don't know how many you'll need. I don't remember how many I did. Um, so just tear up as much as you want. It's really fun to tear them, so they're fun to tear. Okay, so once you have that, you... Oh, no. Can you... I need... Can you get me some water in this cup? I didn't plan this out. I should have done this one first. I just need, use the old water. I need clear water. Can I go get it real quick? Um, you could show them how to do that while I go get this. I can't show them how to do oh. that. Okay. I think that you can just make do with that water. It won't hurt it for it. It won't hurt. Okay. Okay. It will be a little brown, but we'll make it work. Yeah. It will. So you just want to pour, pour some water on your paper plate. No, I didn't know you were going to do that. <laughs> That's what it has to be for. But you have no napkins. Oh, you don't need a napkin. It'll be fine. Will you? Uh, it will okay. soak all that up. Okay, so okay. now, where did I, I need, um, stick. So she poured water. Oh, now, you know what, it's kind of good that it's colored, because otherwise they could not, you looking for the wipey? Yeah. That's why I said you need a napkin to wipe your hand. I got paint on my hand. Yeah. Okay, so. You can see it in the video, so it works better. Just get a color for the sails that will match or whatever. Yeah, I. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do is just... Oh, you're making water. Okay. Yeah, you just have to get your different colors of blue, just plop them in there. Oh, it's like tie-dyeing tissue paper. Hmm. And you just want to kind of... It's actually good because you can really see it. You can really see it. Yep. Okay, so... There's that. Spot one. Now, actually... Oh, wow. Where is the other I'm sure you craft parents stick? are just going to love this craft. <laughs> I, didn't know that I need another water. craft stick. Um, I didn't know that there was water involved in this one. I thought you knew that. I told you. We are well, going to run out of craft sticks because you only have 50 left. A little bit. I have a little bit over 50 because I still have some left. So, Or actually, I could just use my paintbrush. Don't waste them. Don't waste that's them. what I'm saying. Don't waste them. Don't build any more furniture till I up. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, that's what took okay. a lot of them is she built so, some furniture right there. Gonna yeah. pour okay. some. It's not working as well as it did for me. <gasps> and that's why we need paper towels. Okay. Let's use the wipey. Okay, first video disaster. <laughs> Just, um, yeah. Give me one of those paper oh, yeah. filters. Wait, wait, wait. And coffee filters, not paper filters. Y'all know we have a shortage of paper towels right now. <laughs> that is the reason why. Seriously, we don't have, we have like one fourth of a roll of paper towels yeah, perfect. left. Perfect, it worked perfectly. We opened nap, we, we tried to order napkins and you can't get those either. So I guess just order coffee filters because they work. Okay, so. Okay. Can you hand me another one? Yeah, I think you've got enough blue in there to do You have to do trick. more than one color blue. Because our video is getting a little bit long here. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do the really, we're going to do the other dark, the darker blue. Okay, that's good enough. You don't want to waste all that paint. Okay. You hear me, y'all? Don't waste your paint, just use a little bit. It's, it's tie-dyeing the tissue paper, basically. Okay. 
You could just color the tissue paper if you had a little uh, one. This is but better. Okay, can you want to hand me that out of the way? Yep. Okay, we need one more. And you okay. will have to do this a couple of times because I will warn you, that tissue paper will soak the entire thing up. I promise you. So, well, it's nice and one. ocean colorful. I know y'all can see it since the water was colorful. Brown. <laughs> no, it doesn't look brown anymore, okay. actually. It's pretty so, good. take your tissue paper and just don't dip the entire thing in it because that will really smell Now, wait, wait, it. wait. Where's your plan to put the tissue paper once it's wet? You get another paper plate and put it on. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. You put all the colorful tissue paper. Okay. So, so there's what it looks like. Uh-huh. And don't move it. You want it to be kind of stiff. It'll dry Wait, stiff. Wait, you didn't even show it long enough for them to see it. Hold on, I'll show this one. Show the whole plate once it's finished. Okay. Okay, so you're you're trying to get it multi... Show it down. Yes. And you do want to still have some wet white. It's really pretty. You don't want it to be solid blue. Uh -huh. okay. So this is definitely what the older sibling will do. Definitely. Now, I don't think you're going to be able to put this whole craft together with wet No, tissue. actually, by the time we get that, this will be, this should be dry enough for us to go ahead and do it. It may not, but it should be. So, don't think about it, Flower. Even coffee filters will work instead yeah, of tissue paper. Yeah, coffee filters mm -hmm. will work also. Okay, there you go. And now show show your plate with you all can't, the ocean. You want to do more than four. You That's need the to do ocean, a lot. except it's watery. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it it will dry. I promise you, it will dry. And you put the glue on top, and you put the glue. Yeah. But show the I, bottom of the boat again. So I did this. Did. I did this entire thing while it was wet. So yes. I like how that looks. <laughs> I put this on. I put wet. that on there straight wet. I like it. And it that didn't do anything. Really it was perfect. And okay. then I just. Well, I'm not going to tell anymore because you don't want to know everything that I did. You want to wait and watch the video. Flower, don't come in here. Baby. Okay. No, no. Naughty. We don't want you in here right now. Now she's going to try and go in my room. Get in your chair. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to try and hurry up and do these. Because Why see? don't we just use a couple? That's fine. You don't have to, like, have it perfect. Even though I am a stickler for details, I am usually telling Anna not to cut corners. Um, but on a video, you know, sometimes. Okay, there. We're done. Okay, hands clean. So oh, that is here. not enough. I promise you Wipe that is hand. not enough. You need like 10 of these. So I'm going to actually, I'm walking over there with this because I don't want this near the babies. Uh -huh. Put it right there. Okay. There we go. Because that would seriously, even though it is washable, it would still probably ruin the doll. Okay, so show what you have on the plate. Okay, so okay. here's the plate. With the ocean. So ocean okay. pieces. There's so now ocean. we're going to paint the boat. Where am I? So we're going to start with the actual boat. You can actually, you can just, if you are doing this with a little one, you can just let them choose whatever kind of colors they want. They can do whatever kind of colors. It doesn't matter what colors they use. They could use red and yellow yellow and orange and purple. Whatever colors they want to do, you can just let them. That makes it more fun. Because it but looks like a boat no matter what. No matter what. <laughs> so, I actually, I'm going to just do this same color that I did. I love the color that it turned out to be. So, I actually had, it will be darker because I did end up adding white to that, but I don't have any white, but that's okay. I actually can use the same stick because I will need brown. And remember, make sure you... Flower! Where is she now? She's coming in <laughs> here. You don't need to make a YouTube appearance. What are you going to do? You're going to talk to the peoples? You want to say anything to the peoples? She won't let me get her. She'll, she's going to run. Come here, I can show you on the video. While I'm asleep. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, I think you have a plate to make. And you do need to add some peach to it. And some black. Oh no, I'm using the sticks that I was supposed to use to actually make the boat. Oh well. You can wipe them off and still use them 
quite a few colors. Okay, so show the paint. Hold on, I'm not done yet. So what did you use? Peach, peach black, and brown. Peach, black, and brown. Okay. I need a little bit more peach. So actually, hold on. I'll use this one. And not waste. Because it's really dark, and I like it to be a lighter. So I'm going to add a little more peach. And you can just play around with your colors until you have what you like, until you have a color that you really like. So I think that this video is getting so long that we may have to make this the last craft because I'm afraid it won't upload after this. Yeah, we may have to. I like the ladybug, but we, um, I think we'll. Oh, that's, yeah, and the owl. Yeah. And the owl is so cute. Well, but we, we may have to do another one. video. Yeah. We may have to do another video. So here it is. That's the color. Yep. I'm just going to use the same little sponge. It's brown. It doesn't matter. It was used with brownish paint, so soak it up with water. The water makes it go farther, so that's why I always water my brush first. Let you get some. Okay. So as you, you can tell that it's not the same color because I had white. I used white and I don't have any white right now. Because that was the first, that was the day that I got the paint, so of course I had white. I didn't use it up all in two days. Yeah, if they made like a big, like just where you can order white by itself, it would be really good. I know, that's why I always use white Play-Doh up first. And then you can, it's really hard to find too. Especially the browns. Okay, so this is almost done. Okay, have you shown it? Yes, I can see it pretty much, pretty well in the video, actually. Flower, stay over there, please. Oh, please. She's, she says, it's supper time. I want her sup subs. Okay, so there we have it. The boat. I'm going to set that aside to dry. Okie dokie. Okay. Where are my sails? Her okay, sails. so now we're going to do our sails. I did this a little different. I used peach and one I had uh, one I added white to and one I didn't so that one would be darker. It didn't really make a difference. So I'm just gonna use the basic plain peach. Yep, that'll work. So I'm gonna do a really light light light. So because I'm gonna kind of water it down, make it really light. So hold on, this has dripping paint on it. Yeah, just put that aside away okay. from Baby dolls, wait a minute. Okay. Pour a little bit. Okay, okay so got my paint. I need some. Where is a paintbrush? Use this one. Get some peach, peach paint. Wait, what are you doing in the cup? I have a little bit of water to make it not so dark. Okay, did you tell anybody you were doing that? Yeah. Okay. So that makes it a little more like thin. Okay. Flowers being silly. Okay. So okay. Let's... So because I'm going for a little different, because I don't want the boats to, boats to be exactly the same. I want them to be just a little different. So I want them to look like more like cloth and more not like colored cloth. There's something purple in the middle of it. So there's that one. I did it really, really light, as you can see, because I wanted it really, really light. Uh -huh. Okay. And this one, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna add. A little, I'm gonna get a little bit more actual paint. Put a little bit. So I'm gonna get some water, and I want this one to be a little darker. And the good thing about like not cleaning your brushes immediately, like see, we're we're into this an hour and a half. This paint does not destroy brushes; it comes off. Mm hmm so you don't have to worry like normal acrylic paint you can't leave like, it like i've accidentally left it overnight and it still brushes, comes off and it even with glue mm -hmm. and the paint and it still came yeah, off yeah well it's washable glue too so stick to the washable stuff and stick to the name brands on the paint um and stick to the name brands on like glue. it on glue or glue um especially because because we have gotten some glitter glue and it stunks yeah glue. Which now, we're gonna if make you, our glitter glue, so. if you go, if you have lived in the United States and you have a Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree's glitter glue does not stink. It's the only off-brand glitter glue that I've ever had that doesn't stink. But some of them do. But most of them okay. do. Like, okay. We're not gonna go in 
just looks okay. terrible. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, one is light, one is dark. Okay. Okay. I did get a little bit of paint everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna. I put think everything shape. is just too wet right now to actually. Decide. Okay, no. so why don't we just show everything again? Okay, get your main boat. So you saw all making all the pieces. Let's actually, wait. I, it's should too I wet. go ahead and put the, those on? Because I can put it on wet. It's really wet. Because I really wanted to show them how to get this effect. Okay. 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 So let's see. Bottom of the boat, and you're making. You're so putting the water. What on you it. need is okay. you. I really need to stretch my legs. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you can't see. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I have these, and I'm gonna use the solid glue. I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'm just gonna use the clear glue. So I will not have enough to fill the entire boat up. I will just show you how to do but, it. But you can spread but, it out. Yeah. Spread it out and use clear glue. So you're putting it along the bottom. So you want to put a good bit of clear glue on it, and just put some around it. There we go. And then take another one. Did you sprinkle the glitter on it? Is that what uh -huh. you did? I'll show how I did it. You need to spread bit. them out because you're gonna have them too close together. Like put it in the middle. Look, spread it's like. Yeah, take one and put it closer to the middle because you're not going to have enough. Yes. Yeah, see? Spread them out. Water can be all different places on a boat. Okay, and then go back in the big space that you have and put that one or two. That you, yeah. There's one big space right there that you took one out of. You can put. Yeah, see? That's cute. Okay, good. Okay, so now that you have that, mm -hmm. you're going to want to... Flour. Take the glue and just drench them in glue. It will use a lot of glue, but it will look beautiful. It will make them really stiff and when they dry. I hope you have some more of that glue. I do. Okay. Okay, so you have that, and I would definitely get an older child to do the glitter part. <laughs> or have a surface So cover. you just pinch the glitter, right? I just pour it. Oh, we're not going to do that today. See, it has the little yes. spouts. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay, let's not pour it. Let's pinch it like you do salt. Yes. Because we're on a video. It could be a disaster. Okay. I'm trying to get my fingers in there. Yeah, don't let it ricochet. Just put a little on the plate first. Put a little on the plate first. Okay, you put it on. Yes. Okay, that <laughs> was not... Let's put the lid on it. Okay, I'm going to take the glue so you're putting the and glitter. put it all over the water. And put a ton of it because it will be really pretty. Well, you put enough glue to where it will stay. Yeah. That's why you drench it in glue. So, you can still go ahead and put construct it together, but you'll have to not hold it upwards. So, But y'all can see what she's doing. Okay. There we go. I wouldn't hold it up because all the glitter will fall off at the moment. Okay. Okay. Now, so there's that. Mm -hmm. I, I I would try and put the sails on, but cut, but it's really not gonna work. Well, let's show it. Show show this. This one. The done one. The done one. Okay. So all you do. Turn it. Yes. Is you put take the craft sticks. Get look. Turn it around for a second. Turn it around. Okay. So, you see what we do? Okay. So, what you do is you take your craft stick, you take, so, you take your little sail, you flip it on the white side, and you tape, you tape or glue. You glue first, glue and then first tape. And tape. Your glue, your craft stick on On it. the back. On Hold the it. back, yes, like this. You don't want to put it all the way like that. You want it to be where you can have enough to be, to keep it on the boat. And from, you do that to without both. Flap it, flopping. So you do that one to this, you do one to this, and then for the little bu little one, you do two, one on each side. And then you glue, or glue and tape those to the back, and then you end up with okay, a beautiful what I, bow, boat. What I would strike. do first is put the craft stick on each shelf first. Yeah. And then, and then put them it. to the back. Yeah, yes. Okay. And if, I don't know if you could tell, but it's very hard 
because of when the water and the glue dried, it made it really hard. And where is one? Really is pretty. one of those are are one of those dry yet? This one's dry. Hey, show show them what I'm talking about. Putting it, yeah, because sometimes it's difficult to visualize what you're talking about. Okay, so this is the back of the this sail. Is the back of the little sail. Okay, show the back, like. So the little one you put two, the big one you put one. Okay, and then where's my tape? Okay, that's to hold the glue till it dries. Okay, now hold it up. Okay, now, and then now, have it. okay, and wait, then a, wait a second. Then you're going to put the glue on the front of the stick. Turn it around. The part, that part that sticks. So let's show them how to do that. So I'll just have to demonstrate on the back of this. So you'll take your glue on the front of these and then on the front of the craft sticks and then you'll just kind of put it, yep. put it right like mm -hmm. that and then tape it. And then tape it. So See? it goes on the front. Yep. So in the end product, you will have something that will be so beautiful and it will look just like this. So, yeah. So, if you under, show them actually putting the glue on the front right there. Because I'm telling you, it's a little confusing. Yes. And on the other one. Okay. And then... I'll try to glue it. I don't pretend. think it's going to work. Just, just don't hold it all the way up. I think they need to see. Okay. Move your glue stick out of the way. Because I can't see what you're doing. Yeah. No. Out of the way. Yes. Now, say you've got the sail. Yep. Look. Yeah, that's the small sail. Okay, let's go ahead and just do the big sail. This is working fine. Yep. Okay, show them what you're doing. You turned it upside down. I you need, need a craft, craft stick. stick. I need a craft stick. Um, Look over there. I have some in my craft thing over there. Can I hold it? Okay. okay. Put your glue. Right, you turned it upside down. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're you're Turn getting you're down. getting a little bit no instructions here, and we're we're in. Wait a second. Wait, Anna. Okay, the you paint. Turn it upside down. Right. The turn paint it upside is down. on the table. Yeah. And then you glue half of the stick. Okay, but you, you're stick that. Remember half. that we're talking also to little ones, and you have to tell them. Okay. Stick that half to your upside down sail. Uh huh. And then take the tape and tape it down. Okay, so let's let's hold it up. Look, hold it to the camera. And then oh, turn it around. Okay, and this is the no, turn it around. That is where you put the glue on the front to put it on the boat. Okay, that's what I was trying I can't to make pick sure it, up. it won't pick up. <laughs> okay. No, it's got to dry. Okay. Well, we did the best we could. So we show that now. Show that one more time. Okay. So this <coughs> is the end product. Okay, so we are at an hour and 37 minutes. I think we just need to do a separate video for those three crafts because I would, I really, I definitely. That's a whole different video this, for that I one. I definitely want to do a, this video, a video. For yeah. That. This will be like an older kid craft, definitely, because. It involves safety pins. Show show that little um, ladybug again. Okay. So basically, so hold it down. What you do is you take your one paper plate, you paint it, or you could color it red, depending on mm -hmm. what you want to do or what your parents say you can do. You draw or paint a straight line in the middle, and then you wait paint, for it to dry. A bit wait for it. yeah, wait for it to dry, and then take some red. I mean, black paint, or you can color it and do big red spot, big black spots, and you can put it wherever you want. Then you just cut like an oval shape head out of the paper plate. Of, That's the paper, the paper plate, plate, paint and it black. And then paint it black. Take your foam or black construction paper and yeah, cut out here. little half, cir half circle the eyes. eyes. See? And then you've got the antenna. And then cut out the little antenna. Just do a straight line and make a little. With some gold little, glitter glue. Little, then make a little uh, circle at the top and then put some And turn it around with the, together. You glued it all together. And that's, we had it taped to the wall. So you just glued it together. Okay. 
So we're going to do a um, craft. We're not going to get up from this spot because she's going to show all the craft supplies right now. Um, even though it's kind of messy, we can still show them. And so, guys, we hope you enjoy, enjoy this video. video. Bye. Bye.